Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I want to talk about how to create a skeleton for a character. Okay, for the purposes of rigging. So if we we're going to animate a character, we need some controls and we need to be able to move the character around. But on this tutorial, I just want to focus on how to create the skeleton. So you can see that I have a character here ready to rock and roll, ready to go. And if I look inside of them, if I go to x-ray mode, I can see that there's nothing inside of them yet. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, press one on the number pad to look at this directly straight on. I can see that by default, my 3D cursor is at the center of the scene. And if I do shift A, I'm going to go down here to create armature or armature right here. And that's going to get me started. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And it's really, really small. I'm going to press S to scale it up. And that's going to be dependent on the size of your scene. Okay, so I feel like um, Great, if I bring this up, I can x-ray that and I can see it right here. So now I can press S and kind of bring it down. And I wanna start kind of at the hip area, or we're gonna say the belly button area. And um, now when I click on this, if I go to edit mode, I can click on that and I can simply press E and then I can press, you can see that it, it can kind of go anywhere that I want, but if I press Z, it's gonna be locked to that kind of that vertical axis. And now I'm gonna click on E for extrude and then I can press Z and I can bring that up again. I'm just gonna do this a few times. So E, Z. And if I look at it from the side, so if I press three on the number pad, I can press E and then I can even bring it over here, maybe on purpose. And then I can press E and bring this up to the top of the head. Okay, cool. Now, if I wanna move this, I can click on this and I can simply move these joints like this. And I'm gonna kind of follow the curvature of the spine a little bit. Okay, excellent. That is looking pretty good here. I like that. And now if I, again, press one on the number pad, I can see it here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'll press E for extrude. I'll bring that out and that'll be kind of the clavicle. Okay, and if I look at it from maybe the top, so if I press seven on the number pad, I'm gonna push this over like that and press one on the number pad. There we go. And I'll press E. Excellent. Now three on the number pad. Kind of look at this and sometimes um, maybe turning on wireframe could be helpful to kind of see. Uh, there, now kind of get a good idea. Yeah, that looks good. Press E, kind of bring this down to the elbow. And again, three. There we go. E, now bring it down to the wrist. Three. There we go. One, okay, E, I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit. Okay, there we go. And then, so that's gonna be kind of the hand, and then I'm gonna go to this finger, so I'm gonna press E, bring that out like this, and then switch, and you can kind of see I'm gonna help it out. There we go, excellent. Now I'll press um, three on the number pad, go here, E, one on the number pad, and kind of bring that back like this. And then again here, E, bring that down here, one, there we go, excellent. Okay, right here, E, one, over, excellent. Yeah, that's, that's looking really good here. So now I'm gonna continue this process. So maybe I'll start at the pinky, E, kind of go right here, and then again, Every time I do that, I just kind of go back here and kind of take a, a, a look, E, and then maybe E, and again, look at it like this. Okay, excellent. Now, same here, E. I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, E. And luckily, we're only gonna have to do this on one side, okay? Because I feel like I'm gonna be able to symmetrize it for the other side, and we'll get into that, okay? So again, here, E. And luckily, this guy only has three fingers, so that's saving us a little bit of time. E. Okay, awesome. Continue this process. Oh, 
Okay, excellent. Um, now I'll, I'll, I'll come back and check those hands later, but now let's continue this process here. So I'll start here and I'll press E. 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 And I want there to be kind of a slight bend in the leg right now. So I feel like uh, that's going to be, when I'm putting in controls later, that, that'll make it easier, uh, more obvious. E and E. There we go. Excellent. And maybe press 7 from the top. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, excellent. So I feel like um, we're, we've got a lot done here, but I feel like the next thing is going to be naming the joints. And naming is going to be really important for symmetry to work. And I'll, I'll go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to call this um, spine. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could click on it. And as long as I'm on the bone, I can name it here. So I'm going to call this spine 2 underscore 0 2. Or I could click on it, I could press F2, and the name comes up right here. So this would be spine 3 We'll just name it over here, spine 4 And again, this is going to be really um, good to stay organized on this. Um, now maybe... Yeah, maybe I bring this down here. Um, I'm going to just kind of bring this down like this. And then I think I'll have one. So I'll have one right where the neck starts. Okay, now I'll go E. There we go. There we go. So this will be, I'm going to call this neck 01. And I'll call this one head up here. Okay, great. Now I'm going to call this one clavicle underscore L for the left side. Okay. Um, and it's, again, the character's left side. So then I'm going to go here, shoulder. And that underscore L is important. Okay. And I'm going to show why in a second. So... And now I'm just going to do this thumb. And again, like that, as long as the L is separate, so. So I just do index and then it index. Whoa. O one L index O two L and index O three. So again, practice or I'm gonna do um, name all of these.
And obviously the hand is going to be the most time consuming part, but not too bad. Okay, cool. So we've got that and, and we don't have the legs named yet. So watch this. If I select this, and if I go to armature, or I'm sorry, symmetrize, you can see that it, um, it mirrored the arms because of the underscore L. So you'll notice that if I click on this, you can see it switched the L to an R because it knows that it should be um, mirrored. Now on these, there is no standalone L. That's why I didn't name it or didn't bring it over. So I'm just going to undo that mirroring and I'm going to finish the process here. So if I go like this, hip, and again, underscore L, knee, and then ankle. Okay, cool. Now that I have those named, I could select all this. Symmetrize. And you can see that it now brought it over and named it correctly. Okay, so let me just kind of double check this. I'm going to turn the body back on. And I can see that, yeah, no bones are really sticking out too bad on the fingers. I can see these are sticking out maybe a little bit, but I feel like that's, for the most part, that's great. Um, if I turn this back on, I can see this. Um, now, let me just kind of show you some more things about how to kind of work with a skeleton as far as organization is concerned. So what I can do is I can go here to the object data properties. And if I go to bone groups, I could do something like this. I could select some bones um, and add them to a group. So down here, if I go into object mode, I'm sorry, let me see, pose mode. Now I can create some groups. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And I can go here. And I'm going to name this group right. I'm going to make another one. Left. And a third one called center. Okay. So now, again, on the character's right-hand side, maybe I select these in edit mode. I think I, yeah, no, in, in post mode. And I'll select these, this, and this. And... I can go to, that's the character's right, so I'm going to select, select this, and I'm going to say assign. I may be saying, well, Dave, what the heck did that do? But what's cool is I could assign a color. So on the right, I'm going to make them red. And now I can see that those bones are red. Um, now if I select these, again, in pose mode, I could assign that to the left. And maybe on the left, I want it to be blue. And then in the center, so maybe I select these center joints, and I could go like this, center, and I could, well, first I have to assign it, and now I can make them yellow. Whoa, let me see. Assign. There we go. Now they're yellow. Okay, so that's really cool, and that just kind of helps us kind of stay organized and kind of think about things. Um, now, the other thing, too, uh, what I can do with my skeleton is this right here these are kind of like layers and i can see that everything is assigned to this layer now again just kind of stay with me for a second here if i select like the arm so if i select this and if i press m now i can move it to a layer so if i move it to this slot here i can see that that's hidden because it's right here and if i turn it on you can see that it's there if i hold on shift and grab both of them I might be saying, Dave, you've lost your mind. Okay, well, again, stay with me. I'm going to grab these. And what if I add it to that area? So I'm just going to press M and put them down here. And if I grab this, and I'm going to add that to this layer. And then if I grab these, I'm going to press M and move it right here. Okay, so I want you to picture um, this is kind of visually set up where, where the arms are on the top and the legs are on the bottom. Also, the left side of the character, or I guess the character's right side, are 
left while we're looking at it is on this side. So you can see that if I brought both of those, those would be the red. And then if I hold down shift, I can bring these in and then I can see that this would be the center. Okay. So again, um, you may want to set it up where you can kind of easily grab or hide certain bones. And I feel like these are kind of like some slots that you can kind of add things to. But I feel like I just wanted to show how that was different than these bone groups here. Okay. So hopefully you found that helpful to get you at least moving in the right direction as far as setting up skeletons in Blender. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. All right. Talk to you guys later.